Big Cal and welcome to my world. Today, another episode of ABC Ask Big Cal. Got my questions on this piece of paper here, so let's get started. Question number one. How did Craig's Dreamcast response make you feel? Well, this is one of those questions that only a handful of people are going to actually understand. Uh, I have a forum, so it's closed off, there's only a few members, but uh, it's a nice place, mostly. And I think it's well known now that I do not like the Sega Dreamcast. And Craig, one of the members there, responded with this. So, how did that make me feel? Angry. Very fucking angry. You're a prick, Craig. I hate you. I hate Sonic. I hate the fucking Dreamcast. So piss off. <sighs> Question? Number two, what was your favourite storyline and villain on the 90s Spider-Man cartoon? Okay, storyline wise, I will have to go with... Uh, probably the final one, um, you know, the last part of the series with the... Uh, Ah, oh, shit, what was it called? The, the something more... Um, the Secret Wars, was that it? Yeah, where uh, the Beyonder and Madam Web basically uh, pit Spider-Man against a whole bunch of villains on the planet and he has to you know, choose his team to help them and then you know, after he finally vanquishes all the evil He's then put in to lead a team of Spider-Men from other dimensions to travel through all different dimensions to try and save the entire universe from another dimension's Peter Parker who has been combined with Carnage and trying to destroy everything. Uh, that was fantastic. As far as villains go, the Kingpin is just fantastic. Um, loved him back in the Spider-Man cartoon. He was always there in the background, overseen so much. And of course now we get to see him on uh, the Daredevil TV show and he's fantastic in that too. So that's awesome. Question number three. What was your favourite storyline and villain in the 90s X-Men cartoon? Uh, the X-Men cartoon, it was only a few years ago I actually got around to watching it. I was never that interested as a kid but I did like it for the most part. I did think there was a lot more filler episodes certainly than the Spider-Man show and the final season was just a pointless mess. But there was some really good stuff in it. Their favourite villains uh, was definitely Apocalypse. And how do you go against him in it? And favourite storyline, definitely one of them involving Apocalypse. He had a few. I uh, do like, uh, I think it was like the last major one with him, with, um, you know, it was all to do with time, and he was at like the, this. Uh, was the Chamber of Time or something like that where he could you know, go back and forward in time and learn how to control it and he was capturing all the psychic uh, mutants to try and use them to power things up and basically delete the universe as we know it and then recreate his own. That was really, really good. Question number four. Why don't you have a job yet? Fuck. You. Well, this is a kind of job, I guess. You know, the whole YouTube videos, it just doesn't pay well. Um, or, or at all. So, yeah. Did I mention fuck you? Because, you know, fuck you. Question number five. What is your favourite piece of wrestling merchandise? You know, it's kind of odd, despite being a fan for so long now, over 20 years, and I know I'm down on it now, you know, it's still been a long time, I don't really own that much wrestling merchandise, unless you count the video games, in which case I own, like, over 80 of those things. Um, and there are a ton of DVDs and Blu-rays as well, but I don't really consider those merchandise, you know, um, clothes, items of clothing, things like that, that's what I consider merchandise. And again, I don't have too much for you Undertaker t-shirts because there is a fucking Undertaker. Um, but aside from that, not really much. But my favourite piece definitely has to be... My signed photo of Lita! She was my big crush growing up. 
Um, so, you know, I got a signed photo of her. Never actually met her or any other wrestlers, so I never got it signed personally. But um, I bought it, it did come with a certificate of authenticity. Author, author, a certificate of authenticity. Apparently, I can only say that word when I speak like this. Um, yeah, bought that online. It, do, it did come with um, you know, a nice little uh, plastic container thing to keep it safe, but the, uh, the, the plastic case thing that I use to keep it in. Uh, it's kind of hacky now and it's kind of turning a bit yellow but luckily as you can see this I've had this since oh uh, wow 2003 maybe 2003-2004 and you know, it's still in excellent condition so <sighs> I did, uh, yeah, I usually have this stuck up next to my computer so she's always watching me <clears throat> so that's my favourite piece of wrestling merchandise. Well, those are all the questions for this episode. I'm Big Cal and thanks for watching. And remember, if you have any questions for me, contact me through Facebook, uh, Twitter, post a message on YouTube, email me, however you want to contact me, add them to a list for a future episode. So thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.